Is it safe? In the media, the term RU486 refers to a combination of two drugs, mifepristone and misoprostol, which are used to induce abortion during the early stages of pregnancy. The action of these drugs depends on the functions of the hormone progesterone. Now, progesterone is aptly named because it's pro-gestation, and it, that's its primary function. Its primary function is to maintain pregnancy. During a normal pregnancy, progesterone attaches to receptors in the uterus, which send signals that tell the body to maintain the pregnancy. The actions of progesterone allow the developing embryo to attach to the walls of the uterus and develop into a fetus. When a woman takes mifepristone, the chemical blocks progesterone receptors and prevents the hormone from sending signals to the uterus. As a result, the body is no longer able to maintain pregnancy. The embryo and endometrium detach from the uterine walls. The second drug, misoprostol, is a prostaglandin that stimulates uterine contraction, causing a response similar to labor. The contents of the uterus are expelled through the vagina. The process is similar to a heavy menstrual flow. This expulsion may take as little as a few hours or as long as a few days. Misoprostol is actually a drug that's been used uh, traditionally for um, ulcers, and it was found that in women that were pregnant that uh, took it, that they had uterine contractions, and a lot of them actually miscarried uh, their pregnancies. Uh, so now it's used kind of as an off-label use. It's been extensively studied uh, and is found to be fairly safe and effective. In Michigan, if a woman wants to get a medical abortion or uh, mifepristone, what she needs to do is see a doctor who provides abortion services, who is trained, or again, there is someone who is trained in abortion on, in the clinic or on the staff. RU486 can be used as early, really, as a pregnancy test comes back positive, uh, which is as early as five days after the missed, uh, the first missed period, and can be used uh, all the way up until 49 days after the uh, last period. The developing pregnancy is about an inch across at seven weeks. At this point, the heart has actually begun to beat. The limb buds develop, facial features have started to develop, and uh, the outlines of the hands are visible. Also, uh, the external genitals have started to develop at seven weeks. To obtain a medical abortion such as mifeprestone, the requirements are the same as for a woman getting a surgical abortion. That includes a waiting period. She needs to wait 24 hours. She needs to receive information that contains different pictures um, at different gest gestational stages of the fetus. She needs to um, to read information about um, the complications or the possible risks. If someone under the age of 18 wanted to get an abortion, either surgical or medical, um, she would need to either get parental permission or she would need to go through a procedure called judicial bypass, where she asks the court for permission. Medical abortions or surgical abortions are covered by some insurance policies and plans, but it just depends on, on the particular plan. A medical abortion costs about the same as a first trimester surgical abortion, which is about $300. The psychological effects of abortion, um, both surgical and RU486, are um, flashbacks, guilt. Um, we have women coming in the center um, that we give surveys to, and they admit to increased alcohol and substance abuse. There's a lot of repression and a lot of depression associated with the abortion process. The New England Journal of Medicine reported that 15% of women required greater than 12 days to expel the contents of the uterus. The length of this process may have serious consequences on a woman's mental and emotional health. The RU486 is a pill that's taken at the doctor's office, but many times the woman will abort at home. It puts a greater responsibility on the woman versus putting the responsibility on the clinic, psychologically and physically and emotionally. Like any drug, RU486 is not without its side effects. The New England Journal of Medicine reports that some women may experience headache, dizziness, back pain, fever, vaginitis, dyspepsia, or anemia. During the process, women experience heavy cramps and bleeding, which are necessary for the abortion. In certain cases, women may be at higher risk to experience adverse effects. A study by the French Ministry of Health reported that the effectiveness of RU486 was decreased in women over the age of 35 and in women who smoke. The likelihood that a woman will experience severe side effects becomes much higher the further along in pregnancy she is. RU486 has virtually no other uh, effects outside of what it was designed to do, and that is to um, block 
progesterone receptors. The beauty of this drug is that progesterone has little actions throughout the rest of the body. Its, its actions are specific for the reproductive uh, system, specifically during pregnancy. Used as an abortive fascian or even as a morning after pill in the doses uh, prescribed, the long-term effects are not seen with the acute application of this drug. Overall, FDA clinical studies found the drug to be highly effective. Abortion was complete in 92 to 95 percent of the cases. In Europe, 620,000 women had used RU486 successfully prior to 1998. However, 1% 1 of women may require surgical abortion to end ongoing pregnancy or incomplete abortions. Our current abortion rate in the United States is 1.5 million abortions every year. So 1 to 2 percent, although that sounds like a low percentage, that could be 15,000 to 20,000 women. RU486 can be used as soon as a pregnancy test comes back positive, whereas a surgical abortion can only be performed after seven weeks into the pregnancy. Many women would see this as a great benefit to medical abortion. In addition, RU486 is devoid of some of the physical side effects and unattractive aspects of surgical abortion, previously the only available abortion method in the United States. There are several um, side effects for a, a surgical abortion. There can be um, the most serious, of course, is hemorrhaging, which would be a heavy blood loss. Um, another uh, possible physical side effect would be infection. And then, of course, in very rare instance, instances, we have death. Then when we look at the benefits of a medical abortion, such as mifeprestone, since it's not an invasive procedure and there's no need for anesthesia, there really aren't complications uh, that would be associated with that. Like most difficult questions, RU486 is not a black and white issue. It has many benefits over surgical abortion, but also some novel downfalls. It is another choice offering a few conveniences at the cost of a few disadvantages. Whether it is an easy process or not depends on one's perspective. It's not easy. It takes a lot of time. There's a lot of psychological distress, and there's a lot of inconvenience with it. Methoprestone offers women another choice. Um, it offers them some other options and conveniences that maybe, you know, would be better for them than a surgical abortion. And it's very, very safe. The popular media can be rampant with exaggeration, bias, and conflict. Unfortunately, news programs and magazines are the main source of information for many Americans. Though the emotion and fervor of the abortion debate is alluring, the public must remember to consider the facts. In the controversy of the abortion pill, careful consideration of evidence can help facilitate sensible political, cultural, and individual choices. However, this scientific evidence is only a stepping stone. It can never fully answer the difficult moral and ethical questions that concern termination of pregnancy. Whether elective abortion is acceptable in our society is, and will continue to be, a difficult decision to make. <laughs>